How are natural killer cells being used in anti-myeloma therapy? There are a lot of ways that NK cells are being developed to try to treat blood cancers, in particular multiple myeloma. So one is just general non-engineered NK cells. And this has been looked at in patients with leukemia as well. So you can just give an infusion of NK cells, whether you get them from a healthy donor or from cord blood, and see if they have anti-tumor effects. And so uh, this, this work has been done by a very for a variety of different investigators. And what we know from that work is that the NKs are safe, and sometimes, and especially in leukemia, can induce remissions, which then allow patients to get other therapies, so they buy time. Another way that NK cells can be used is to have them engineered, for example, making an NK car. This allows the NK cell to be specific against the myeloma protein and really directly toxic to the myeloma cell. So it's a little bit more complicated to make those, but generally something that we think about as potential off-the-shelf car therapy. A third way that you can use NK cells is to develop them to be really towards the tumor. So we have this NKG2D um, possible cell, um, and that can really go towards tumor cells trying to look at the actual proteins that generally tumor cells express. You can also change the NK cells or engineer them to be more active with an antibody. So some NK cells um, can be engineered for their little protein on the surface called CD16 to be better to work with daratumumab. And finally, there's a group of NK cells called memory NK cells, which are being developed. And these actually are a naturally occurring population of NK cells in certain people, healthy donors, who may have been exposed just in regular life to cytomegalovirus, which is a very common virus that many of us are exposed to. And for people who've been exposed to that, they actually have a slightly higher number of these quote unquote memory NK cells, which signal very well with antibodies. And so if you take those cells, grow them in a dish and make cereal products, you could actually infuse them with something like daratumumab to make them more effective in conjunction with that antibody or any antibody that might be effective against myeloma. Do we have clinical trials for natural killer cell and multiple myeloma? Yes, we do. Uh, early results were not that encouraging, uh, so the, the field of natural killer cell was lagging behind uh, other types of uh, white cells like T cells. However, there, is new, um, there are new uh, uh, research going on about uh, different clinical trials testing the efficacy of natural killers, for example, after stem cell transplant. Patients can get you know, infused with natural killer cells the same way, similar to the T cells, the CAR T cells, and, and um, you know, check for efficacy for natural killers against multiple myeloma. I think natural killer cells are very powerful cells. They, um, we just need to, un to learn how to unleash their power uh, against multiple myeloma uh, to harvest most of the benefits out of that. Uh, for the time being, it's still early. It's lagging behind chimeric uh, T cells, the CAR Ts, uh, but it's coming and, and it's, it's, um, it's a promising uh, um, you know, uh, biology behind the uh, natural killer cells and the way they um, fight cancer. One example we have with uh, treatment with elotuzumab, it's, uh, yes, it activates the natural killer cells to um, go after multiple myeloma. Elotuzumab by itself did not show uh, much of efficacy against multiple myeloma, but then we learned that, you know, when you combine elotuzumab with pamalidomide or with linalidomide, we get better results than uh, pamalidomide or linalidomide respectively alone. So. Um, Yes, elituzumab um, uh, uh, added to the myeloma uh, armamentarium. It's an important drug for multiple myeloma. It's good to have an option there, uh, but um, we still can improve on that and, and get more of the natural killer cells. Well, that's uh, very much uh, under study. The natural killer cells are also being studied as potential treatments of, of adoptive cell therapy you know, for myeloma. Uh, in this case, the, uh, you're isolating natural killer cells rather than uh, T cells, and then the natural killer cells go through a gene modification process using uh, viruses and other things that deliver the, the CAR uh, to the uh, CAR molecule to the uh, NK cell, and then the cells are, you know, man expanded and then prepared for uh, infusion back to the patient, but they do seem to be potentially different in that they don't seem to be associated uh, as much with the cytokine release syndrome and 
probably the neurologic toxicity because they they release you know different chemicals, uh, different uh, cytokines, and they result in the production of different cytokines. So they may have a a different, uh, maybe even a less significant side effect profile. They also, because natural killer cells are, you know, have have some less specific, uh, some abilities to interact with tumor cells in a less specific and targeted way, it's potent possible that they may, uh, you know, have a maybe a wider spectrum of, of activity or uh, killing uh, than, than the T cells, uh, which uh, tend to be, you know, more uh, targeted to specific uh, uh, markers or epitopes uh, on the on the cell cell surface. Yeah, you could you could uh, engineer them to go after the same antigens that uh, that the T cells can, uh, but the function and the functional properties of the cells are, are different, and uh, may, that may be advantageous in that there may be you know less side effects, and there may be a, a different. Uh, uh, they may have a maybe a, a potentially a greater ability to to kill myeloma cells even through some of the non-specific or ways that the natural killer cells do.